Hello guys, this is the JBL Party Box 310 and this is the JBL Party Box 320. The 320 it is the newer model from the 310. So as you see both looks similar. The 320 has better lights. It has this LED band here. The 310 doesn't have it and these are the input buttons, the control buttons. As you already saw, the, the JBL Party Box 310 input buttons, it is much more improved. Of course, both of these speakers have this handle for easy transportation. And on the back, they have wheels because they are very heavy. Here on the back we have the input control where you can see the input that it has. So the 310 has the USB for charging the phone, has the gain for the mic and guitar in, has the aux in. Uh, if you want to daisy chain you can uh, use this feature and of course it has the TWS when you, where you can uh, where you can connect two or two speakers together and here is the GBL party box 120 that has the same USB port the same aux in the same uh, gain for the microphone and the guitar in and of course the daisy chain of course you will see that it lacks the TWS because it has this button. You see here, this is the AuraCast button. Of course, the 320 has, compared to the 310, has this removable and replaceable battery. So if you damage the, the battery, you can easy repair it while the GBL Party Box 310 doesn't have this feature in my opinion it is one of the most uh, impressive features that the new JBL Party Box uh, speaker has uh, because after a few years of course the battery will not last that long now let's talk about the specs both have 240 watts of power both have two 6.5 inch woofers and uh, the same tweeters and we were gonna play the same song on both of them to, to make this sound test. Uh, both uses the JBL Party Box app. So this is the JBL Party Box 310. Okay. So you're gonna go to the equalizer, you will see that you only can adjust the bass, the treble and the, the mids. I will leave it to flat. But if you're gonna go to the GBL Party Box stage 320, you will see that uh, the equalizer has more features. If you're gonna go to the equalizer, you're gonna see that of course you can edit and custom your equalizer but it already has the uh, vocal chill movie and my preferred the jbl signature but we're gonna leave it at custom to the flat level and now we're gonna play uh, the same song on both of them to see how they sound of course we're gonna max out the volume uh, and we're gonna use the bass boost uh, level one both of them will be connected to their power source. First will be the JBL Party Box 310. Stay back, I'll be swinging out till the hits coming all caps. 
I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna let that so fair Give me one shot, then I'll never get the throne back I am amazed about by the power of the JBL Party Box 320. Of course, it is much bigger than the JBL Boombox 3 that we have there. Uh, but the power, it is amazing. The highs, the mids and the bass, it is very punchy. I, I like this, uh, how it uh, sounds. But now let's see the JBL Party Box 320. Remember, with the equalizer flat out, just like the 310 and with the first level of this of uh, deep bass activated So after listening to both of these uh, speakers, I will definitely say that the, the volume, the power, I think it is similar. The, the GBR Party Box 320, uh, 320 uh, seems much uh, stable at the maximum level of sound. The bass doesn't lose its power at the maximum level of sound. Uh, so, uh, in my opinion, it is more balanced than the JBL Party Box 310, but even this sounds very good. So, the, the, the sound's quality is, I think, 5 to maximum 10% better of, on, the, on the JBL Party Box 320. So, taking into account the price, the JBL Party Box 310 cost $550, the JBL Party Box 320 cost $600. For $50 more, I will definitely recommend you the JBL Party Box 320 because it has more features uh, than the JBL Party Box 310. So, which one do you like? Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers!